So anti-fragile, let me describe what I mean by anti-fragile. Uh, well, I was a trader for 22 years while, while having some interests and, and, and visibly so I grew and even did my doctoral thesis uh, you know, with some interruptions in my trading career. So I was very interested in, in volatility. That was my profession. Uh, how uh, systems, uh, how you benefit from volatility, some nonlinearity. And I observed one thing when I stopped trading. That I looked at a coffee cup and uh, realized that this coffee cup has something in common with things that don't like volatility. In fact, it has a nonlinear uh, reaction to uh, shocks. So there's the same nonlinear reaction as volatility packages. And you can define fragility as effectively something that does not like uh, uh, variability, simply. If there's an earthquake, another one, we had one, the last one, I think the last major one was in the sixth century. If you have an earthquake, will this have any upside? No. Does it like mistakes? No. So it is fragile. So you can define the fragile mathematically as something that does not like mistakes and other things, it has to have a nonlinear accelerated reaction up to the point of breaking uh, to shocks. Like a small shock has no impact, a large shock has much more impact, disproportionately large. And there are other things that we know from derivatives, like if the market goes down 10%, you lose vastly more money if you're exposed, negatively exposed to volatility than if it went down much more than 10 times 1%. So based on that, started building things. So meanwhile, so I was defining fragility when something hit me that the opposite of fragile, when you ask people the opposite of fragile, they give you some words, first of all, ill-defined, like resilient, you can't write it down mathematically, or even more stupid word like robust, that in fact don't describe systems that are the opposite. If you ask what's the opposite of fragile, say solid, incassable, uh, the French, غير خاضع للكسر in uh, Arabic, ما uh, بين كسر in Levantine, which is not Arabic, by the way, not a debate, or related to Arabic, but different language, different kind of Levantine means uh, the Levant's language, ما بين كسر, and stuff like that. So it is visibly, this is a description of something that is, doesn't break, okay? So that's not the opposite of fragile. If I'm sending a package from here to southwestern Siberia, you write on it fragile. The opposite would be, you know, fragile means handled with care. The opposite would not be, uh, I don't really care, you can do whatever you want to it. The opposite of fragile would be, likes disorder, likes please, you know, shake me, I'll benefit from it. So there's a category of object like that. Without a word in a dictionary, but visibly the ancients knew about it. Because as you can see, and, and incidentally, I'm so proud to be in Beirut. You, what you have in the middle, is the solid and kasabl, ghayr khadi al kasr, all that nonsense. The things, it's basically you shoot it, you don't recognize, it's a symbol of Beirut. You shoot it, Phoenix, what happens to it, comes back the same. It doesn't care, just like people in Brooklyn. You know, they don't improve, they don't degrade, all right? So they can't do anything to, to make them worse, but definitely never improve. So that, actually, same thing with, I won't say the same thing with Beirut, but people from my village are immune. Nothing shakes them. Okay, so that's the symbol phoenix. To the left, Damocles, of course, that's a fragile. No upside from random event. It can be neutral or negative. And of course, to the right, the anti-fragile. Do you recognize the animal? You kept one, it's like ISIS. You cut one head, what happens? Two grow back, all right? So the last thing you want is bother it, okay? So it's a category of things that, 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 that react, overcompensate for some kind of shocks. For those of you in finance, this is a package that's fragile in time series, either small or no gain, and once in a while, horrible thing. All fragile objects have this characteristic more upside than downside from random event. This is the robust people from Amyun or Brooklyn. You know, they, you know, no, no, you know, nothing phases them, supposedly and in theory. Uh, I'm not talking about physical uh, fragility, I'm talking about moral fragility, of course. And, uh, and of course, this is the category of object that has bigger upside than downside. Once you see this, you can mathematically do a lot of things. If you can start associating everything that came from disorder as having this characteristic, and we'll see how.